Alrighty, so I thought I would do a little behind the scenes for our subbies of Bare Essentials. Um, if you guys didn't know Bare Essentials, just a little history of it. Bare Essentials is a company, a distributor of Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is a cosmetic line that's mineral makeup. So um, without further ado, uh, here we go. So now I'm to primers. Okay. So, like I said, we're 100% natural. There's no parabens, waxes, fragrance binders, all the above. Okay, so when they say there's no binders, we are not joking. There is no binders to this foundation. So, if you're one of those that go, hmm, I really like this foundation, but it just doesn't last. Or, I really like this foundation, but I feel like I have the buff forever and I don't have that much time. Um, you're probably one of those that don't have a primer. Primers are amazing. I'm not saying go run out and get the Primetime Foundation Primer from Bare Essentials, but I will say it is pretty good for mineralized makeup because it's silica, not silicone. So it's not a codogenic, it's not going to clog your pores, it's hyperallergenic, so it's not going to break you out. It's fragrance free, oil free. Um, there's oil control, there's the original. Um, they both have B5 and vitamin E, so it's anti aging as well. So there's so many benefits to it, and it's also water resistant, ladies. So, I mean, summertime is coming around. And even if we just put on our mineral veil, I would put on a primer and then the mineral veil and it'll stay. So, um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I've even worked out with my foundation on and I will tell you, if I didn't have the primer, I would have sweat all that foundation off. And it probably would have been a bad story when I got home and washed my face because I would have probably broken out because I have very sensitive skin. And when I say sensitive, I'm talking about I have cystic acne. And if anything breaks it out, I get little heat bumps and then like this big boil looking thing on my face and that's not pretty but I will say uh, my skin has definitely cleared up in the last two years with using this product moving on to foundation okay I use the matte finish the matte finish also has skin benefits in it it helps with acne scars age spots pore size oil um, also has more of a Thicker coverage, so you would have the buff and break down that mineral a little bit better. Um, and then the original finish, it still has, oh yeah, and that's the, that's the difference too, with the matte finish and the original. The original finish has more of that um, dewy luminosity. The original finish has only five minerals in there. It has zinc, iron, or zinc, iron oxide, titanium dioxide, mica, and bismuth. And so mica and bismuth and that titanium dioxide is helping that original finish get that dewy shimmery look a lot of people either praise it or hate it so I don't say I hate it but I'm not a big fan of it for women of color I found myself and darker women or darker shades that I have had customer wise have all said I love the original finish on everybody else but myself um, the original finish gives me an ashy cast I look dry um, I don't know why but I feel like my under eyes it looks a lot um, what am I trying to say? It doesn't sound gross, but I guess like creased, I guess, caked up a little. Um, the matte finish is amazing. It's like butter, like velvet. I love it. Will never change. I am golden tan currently. Um, usually I'm either tan or golden tan. Um, and I think everybody likes to ask me if uh, with MAC, I'd be NC45. So if you're NC45, go check out golden tan or tan. Uh, matte. Uh, Okay, ladies, sorry it's so quick of a video. I know the behind the scenes should be a lot more exciting, but that's the information I can tell you right now. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Also, hit that yellow subscribe button if you haven't, and also make sure you like the video, so um, or thumbs up the video. Uh, but I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you later. Bye. Gina signing off. <laughs>